the Samus here it can do a really good job of playing it safe. Right? Yes. Instead of Joker, one thing he has to do, like obviously he wins the matchup, but he has to interact with DDD. Yeah, Samus does go not away. have to interact with DDD. And that's the thing you really want to do. You do not want to interact with this character. You can absolutely obliterate your stocks. Being a heavy and being the kind of setups this character has, you definitely want to get your damage up from as far away as possible, and Mistassi is definitely looking to do that. Yeah, you just have all that room to kind of react, and PS2 being such a large stage as this, you have the tether recoveries, you have moves to kind of cook up like that, and oh my god, Mendocity coming out with a really good opening, but this is one of the things that DD plays to the most, and that is the ledge. The ledge is such a RPS against this character, and if you can get through that, oh, good on you, good on you, honestly. We talk about Samus ledge driving, we don't talk about DD, oh my, oh, that was some, yeah. that, was, that was the gotta get home for Christmas DI, that was the December 24th DI. A it's time to go. It's that Home Alone fever. <laughs> the Home Alone <laughs> <laughs> But Castellia immediately coming right back, going the up throw into up air. That okay. pressure off stage, catching the air dodge with the, the gyro. Can the gyro once again, let's see if Mendoza can wait this I out. I love this. Oh, just barely not able to find that. But Castellia, pressure, the quadruple nair. And wow, what is showing already in the first minute of the game? I know, already entering No Tech City. You would think Mendoza got them texts like that, being a Wi Fi kid, but uh uh. Oh, Castilia is playing right here. He's playing out, but Modosity coming out, swinging at the back air. Looks to kind of just threaten that space as well, like we're seeing, with, like we were talking about earlier, with the Zeris, the Fodius to just challenge it up. But DD of Gordo at the ledge, such a scary, scary situation to be in because now he's kind of just locking down this whole zone against you. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go, Manasi trying to find, get in with this Zare. I'm loving the use of Zare here, not really looking to interact with DD much, trying to stay at literally, uh, quite literally in arm's length, staying away. Oh, looking to that back air mm -hmm. on the shield into the charge shot. Stelia looking to find a punish there, and that back air, really smart idea, but not able to find it just yet. Landing down with that forward tilt once again. Keeping the close stock here. Nice air dodge from Adasti. He's just playing super safely, trying to find that one little piece of damage to take the stock off of DDD. 142% of raise with taking from the stock here. Yeah, we see him setting up at the end with the, oh, the Gordo as well. Oh, and my just the chasing Gordo. that stock so, so beautifully right now. Honestly, Casilia, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes on the DDD matchup right here. But unfortunately, even the Gordo from the card still actually still living. I thought he KO'd. I honestly oh, thought he mm, KO'd. Mm, mm, Gordo. That's Fooled me. That's the thing about DDD, man. This character does not die. You need to find those stocks when you need to find those stocks at the perfect opportune times. Oh, so he lives to 200%. That up throw is still not going to do it without any kind of mash. Nah. -uh. Stelia is still hanging on to the stock. But Dossi needs to be careful because those up throw and the up airs are up. coming out, and you're already at 52. You're off the ledge against DDD. Yeah, it's still just eating this damage. 209 on the board right now. One up throw oh. is probably going to do it. A good old back air. But Medocity is just getting so much fear right now from the DDD okay, with the go, raise. But go. knocking it off finally. Taking that stock. Castelia just still has the momentum going the way. And you could see this confidence still just going for these offstage chases as well. Nice down throw into up airs there. Mendoza finding this damage back. Looking to bring out the oh, steps of the up. Oh, oh. Not going to do it just yet. You know, DDD being a very heavy character. So he's coming back on with the up air. Looking to find more of this pressure. Mendoza is keeping it on right now. Look, trying to keep this DDD away from finding any damage. Huge forward out coming out from Castellio. Uh oh, oh, oh the, the reflection. Yeah, okay, nah. You're hanging on there. But still the Gordo's coming out. Castellio is trying to stay away. But what that a snipe. Gordo is going to find Mendoza there. Castellio takes game number one. What a snipe. That was now, definitely a very good edge guard. The thing though. I like about how Castilli is playing this matchup, uh, right? We see, you know, Madassi's game plan with the Samus, right? Just hang back, charge shot, Zare, just kind of approach him, kind of just punishing. Mm -hmm. But in those kind of scrap situations, Castilli knows I'm a big body. I'm going to get hit, right? Oh, yeah. In those moments when he's kind of getting combo, wombo comboed all up, like we saw with, you know, the nares, or the up to the up B, he finds those right kind of timings to just throw in the nares when he's committing to an option. And from there, it just goes so, so much. He definitely just goes all the distance. Oh, yeah, we're definitely seeing the Joker coming out right now. Now, this is going to be a lot more volatile for Madassi, but being as this is his main, he knows the kind of damage he needs to get on. He knows he can get a lot of damage on a character like DDD, right? You can mm -hmm. find it with those Ahas, with those guns. But is definitely going to be careful. And instead of focusing, this game, you really got to focus on using those hammers to use that disjoint and keep Joker out of your safe space and find those Gordo setups whenever you can. Yeah, and right now, Castelia just trapping at the ledge right now with the DDD, just doing what he does best. Eftel, nicely timed roll to get through that situation. But oh! the set is out line, but it don't matter. He was You're him. packing it up. You're he, packing up. Oh, my gosh. He let it be him. Oh, Castelia, an absolutely you. insane spot dodgery with the dash tag, immediately eviscerating that first stock. And I was going to see that, too. DDD on the ledge in this matchup is definitely one of the hardest things Joker has to deal with, right? 
Gordo setups against Arsene Joker, and just like once that Arsene comes online, you know, you do a lot better against EDD, but once you get thrown off stage, getting through that Gordo, being set up under the ledge is almost impossible. So Mandasi That's the tough part. Mandasi wants to play most of the, if not all of this game, on the stage, in the middle of the stage. Yeah, but Medocity coming out with Joker right now. This is what they need to kind of get their footing right back in the game. But Castelia playing this out so, so smart. This is something we didn't see in the previous matchup, is that DDD planking. DDD is very, very solid at kind of planking at the ledge, especially when you're really smart about this. It's kind of like, hey, I'm camping here. Back off, back off. This is my zone. This is my space. That timer is slowly ticking out. And definitely just going to wait out this Arsene real quick. Oh, looking to find the back here at the ledge there. Nice use of that Hagon. Dossi still able to take the stock just yet. Castelia holding their ground very well. Coming back with the Gordo. 149%. You can definitely find a drag down forward air into an upside, something of the sorts. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Madasi takes that first stock. And it's still down 48%, but definitely still in the runnings. Yeah, and I like the recognition to kind of just jump out of the air and just get your punish on up from Madasi. You can tell that they very well know this matchup, but Castelia has just been rocking this the whole time. And right now, you're kind of just at the ledge, getting locked down uh -oh. in the shield, and there's that fair. Might not have a jump this time around, having the gun saw on back. And here we go, playing ledge RPS oh. once again. Madasi coming out once again with 104 on the board. Arsene taken right here, uh -oh. right now. Arsene trying to come back. It's going to be the hardest thing. And that immediate punch, Jeez. Castelia knows. Now Badasti on their last stock, looking to find the stock in a very cheesy way, but Castelia is about this. You can't fool me. I am familiar with your game. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. That, we gotta he was trying to end it all right there. He was packing and ready with the hammer there. I Locked love <laughs> <laughs> had, had the crosshairs aimed right there. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the change. But yeah. right now, you oh know, Vadasi, I kind of want to see them play with Gun a lot more to really slow down the pace of this game against oh, the yeah. DAD. Because that is one of the things I've seen a lot of Jokers kind of do in recent times is when they're just on the defensive, when they have to slow it down to really just get Arsene much like this. Oh. And oh, then this is where they wow. come back. This is the big comeback factor here. The thing that Madasi, I can really tell, is that they're playing tilted. Like, they're, they, they got down, they, they lost that first knock relatively early, and now they're just trying to force this interaction to find, it relatively, I mean, given you're doing that relatively nicely, given you're playing Joker into DDD, but Castelli is taking advantage when they can, and still you're down 54%, our sense about to go away. You need to take a second, and you gotta take a breather, because Castelli can find one interaction and absolutely rob this game from you. Ooh, now you can see the fear there as Castelia got the inhale, and that is a pretty powerful command grab. Once you get your opponent to kind of just yield that shield option and just condition them in that way, you can pretty much control the pace of the game. But right now, Madasi looking to have a fight back into this, forces to a game three situation, but Castelia saying, oh, nah, -uh, shutting down the hopes wow. and dreams of Madasi, sending him down to losers. Down throw into forward air coming out once again, being the tried and true for Castelia in this set. Wow, what an amazing way. Like, such a patient player. Like literally my favorite